Alright, what's good guys? So what I want to do in this video today is combine superhero flight animations with free flow combat. So this is what it looks like. We have the superhero flight and we also have free flow combat where he can like attack all of these enemies from super far away and he can also attack them from the sky too. So that's really cool. I think it looks really cool. It feels really good too. And yeah. So yeah, anyway, let's get started. If you don't have any of these projects, obviously I'll leave everything in the description. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is find our characters. Actually, no, the first thing that we're gonna do is actually, uh, let's go to plugins. So settings, plugins, and search for motion wrapping. Motion wrapping right here. Enable this, click on restart, and then just restart the project. All right, now that we've restarted the project, what we can do is search for our characters. So if you go to the game mode, world well settings, game mode, default pawn class, you can click on this button to browse to your character. And you can use the UE4, UE5, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna use UE5. And we're also going to want to find the free flow combat character as well. So if you go to free flow combat, then go to uh, blueprints. And then you wanna go to example characters and open up the free flow combat character. All right, so in free flow combat, you're gonna see these components over here. You're just gonna grab all of them. You can hold control and click which ones you wanna select. Then control C to copy all of these components. So the hit, detection, motion wrapping, free flow combat, damage system, targeting system, combo counter, and dodge system. The only one you're missing out here is the character movement you don't need. And now let's go to our player underscore UE5. This is the superhero player. Just paste all of those components into there like that. And then you want to go to class settings and in implemented interface, you're going to add damageable b i underscore damageable and there's one more that you can add to but i'm not going to be adding it in here we, we've got the weapons so bi weapons this is so the character can pick up weapons and throw them and use them and stuff like that but we but we don't need it i'm not going to use it anyway let's go back to the player now the superhero player and go to interfaces and go to take damage so double click on this and what we're going to do here is grab the damage system component and out of it, search for take damage. Connect it up like this. So everything connects up like that. There you go. Perfect. Compile, save. And now let's go to the event graph. Actually, let's create a new event graph and we're gonna name this uh, free flow combat FFC. And let's go to the free flow combat character. We can grab all of this stuff over here, the camera input movement and begin play. Move that out of the way and just grab everything else, copy and paste it into this graph. This the free flow combat graph that we just created. And as I said, I'm not going to be using any of the weapons, so I'm going to delete them. If you want to use them, you can use them. You just need to watch a video on how to actually implement the weapons. Uh, the creator of free flow combat game formation has made a video on it so you guys can go and watch that if you like all right cool so that's everything i think that's done everything here it looks good we have the hit reactions deal damage attack inputs counters finishes ground takedowns and yeah that's all cool what we also need to do now is just add all of these inputs onto our player so if we go to if we go to superhero flight then go to import and open up the superhero fly IMC, go to mappings, and we're just gonna add all of these inputs here, the finisher, the counter, attack, and I think there's ground takedown and dodge, ground takedown and dodge, yeah. So let's just add them one by one here. I'll add attack first. Attack, my attack is gonna be the left mouse, and then I'll add counter. Counter is going to be my right mouse, and then we have finishers. I want my finisher to be on Q. We have ground takedown, I'll put that on E and we also have the dodge. We have two dodges here. One dodge is from the superhero flight because you can dodge in the sky. And we also have the free flow combat. So just make sure you're picking the right one when you're choosing. I'll choose this one here and I'll make that F. So that should all be done now. The next few steps that we need to do here is let's go to superhero flight and search for enemy. Sorry, let's go to free flow combat and search for enemy and then grab the BP enemy base and just put a couple of them in here. And we also need to search for melee. So search for melee and grab the melee combat manager. Put that in there too. And now let's go over here to quickly add the project. Go to volume and add a nav mesh bounds volume in here. And just make this big. 
So this is where the enemy is going to be able to run around in. So I'll just make this pretty big like this. And now with all of that, we should be able to have... Oh no, there's one more thing we need to do as well. Let's go to our world settings, go to game mode and change the game state class to free flow combat. This is important to do, very important to do. If you don't do this, the players, when you, uh, the enemies, when you hit the enemies, they just won't get back up. So if we now try to attack these guys, you can see it is working, but I don't like how it, like what I want to do is I'm a superhero. I should be able to attack him from all the way over here. And we do take damage as well, that's cool. So what we're going to do is change that. So basically if I am over here, I want to be able to attack this guy from all the way over here. So let's change that real quick. The way that we're going to do that, we can get rid of this now. The way we're going to do that is if we go to our player, our superhero player, and go to attack input, you're going to see this get target here. In radius, we're going to change this to 25,000. And let's copy this. And we're going to go back to our content browser, go to free flow combat. We're going to go to blueprints, go to data assets strikes unarmed long range controller and we need to basically open up all of these folders here the back front left right i'm just going to do one of them so i'll go to front and we're going to open up these data assets basically let's start with one and if we go to track array we don't need to do anything in index zero because this is our player if i quickly open this up you're going to see this is our player this is all of the settings for the player we don't need to do anything there we need to go to index one this is all of the settings for the enemy and what we need to do is change this max distance to master which is basically max distance to player and we need to change this to basically 25,000 the same as this get targeted in radius so you need to open up all of these now so you need to open up strike two front do the exact same thing here in index one make sure you're doing this in index one if you do it in index zero nothing's going to happen you, you need to do it in index one but with that basically what i can do now is i can attack him from super far away but you're going to see that if i don't change all of the rest it's going to say it didn't find a matching controller so yeah you just need to go back to all of these and just do the same thing for all of them so i'm going to do that and i'll come back Okay, so I've just done that. I've just updated all of these now to 25,000. Hopefully in the future, we can get an update where this is actually a little bit easier to do because it's not, it's, it's not that it's hard. It's just a bit tedious, that's all. But now we should be able to attack them at any angle. And we shouldn't get that didn't find matching control or anything like that. We should be able to fly around and still attack them from super far away too. And yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I do think this is super cool. You can use this for like a superhero game, um, Superman, Invincible, something like that. But yeah, anyway, that's going to be it. Hopefully you liked the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.